Okay, in this tutorial, I would like to introduce you to the selection effects, which are included in uh, MetaTools Making Faces. To access these effects, what we do is we click on the upper left home icon, and we find them here in the second row. We have twirl, waves, spikes, vertical waves, pinch, bulge, and ripple. Okay, to utilize these effects we simply click on one and like magic we get one on screen. Okay, now the cool thing about uh, making faces is, it, is that while we're in selection mode, which is denoted by the, the dotted selection area, I can move this around by simply tapping on screen and dragging anywhere with one finger. And you can see as in real time it actually applies the distortion to the image. I can also use a two finger gesture to increase the size of the effect. Okay. And now what I'm doing here is I'm just going to show you the effect. I'm not actually going to try to be artistic with it. Um, so what we've done is we've made a, 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 a twirl that's as large as, as Mona's whole face. And now as a single click I can enter into apply mode and you'll notice apply mode because now my selection area has a solid line rather than a dotted line. When I'm here now I can click and drag anywhere on screen left or right to actually apply the effect. The more I, the more I stretch the more of the effect I apply and I can, I can swipe in the opposite direction and make it spin the other way. And again, if I single click, I'm now back in selection mode, and again I can move this all over the image in real time, and I can resize it, and also move it around in the image still. And I can single click, go back to apply mode, and I can still undo this effect, or lessen it, or increase it. Um, I can also delete this effect by hitting the trash icon. I can get another version of this effect by simply clicking. And see now I've created another iteration of it with the same settings as the original. The default settings. Okay, let's delete these. Uh, one other thing that's quite interesting is that I can take, let's say I create one here go into edit, uh, go into apply mode, apply it. Now if I double click on screen, I can clone that effect. So now I have another one with the exact same settings. Okay. And again, I can delete these at any time. So one way in which I might use that is I might go in here and grab, say, the bulge icon. I might uh, resize that a little bit and then just simply let's say we uh, move this to uh, let's move it over Mona's eye here go to apply mode ratchet that up a little bit let's make it a little bit more oblong and so let's say we have an effect we like I double click I get another version of it I move that over here and voila now I've created Mona Lisa from space uh, one other option we have available here, in, and it, you'll find that it's more useful for some filters than others, but let's say we grab uh, spikes, okay, and I apply spikes here. I'm going to really ratchet this up so you can see exactly what's going on here. Okay, I'm in selection mode now, which means I can move this around. And before we talked about single clicking to get to apply mode, single clicking to get back. But I can also, I can tap, hold, and drag to temporarily a place, apply the effect. And as, when I let go, it goes back to selection mode. So I don't have to go all the way into apply mode to apply something. I can, I can apply it quickly. And as I said, you will find that this will work better uh, for some filters th than others. Um, I, f I think you'll find that once you really start getting used to the product, uh, you'll really like that feature.
And again, if I double click, I could clone. And now I can say that Mona is just completely starstruck. Ooh. And those are how the selection area effects work in making faces.